Hey you guys, how's it going? It's Peter Draw here and it's time for a prehistoric animal of the month. So this is going to be kind of a mix between September and October because I forgot to do September for reasons that you will soon find out in my next video, hopefully. Yes, okay. This month's prehistoric animal is Concavenator and this was suggested by Spinoraptor X. He actually has a YouTube channel in the description. I suggest that you check him out. He does some super cool stop motion stuff. I've actually been a fan of his work for a while. So yeah, definitely check his stuff out. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin. Now, while Concavenator might not match the spooky season entirely, it's definitely got a slew of strange and mysterious features. Its name means the Hunchback Hunter from Cuenca, which describes both the location it was discovered in Spain as well as one of its most strange features. Its 11th and 12th vertebra come out twice as far from the animal's body as the rest. You're probably familiar with Spinosaurus, which had a large continuous sail on its back. Concavenator's sail was a bit different. Instead, it seems like they had a short crest-like hump above its hips. There's all sorts of uses this structure has thought to have had. Regulating its body temperature and sexual dimorphism are just a few. Sexual dimorphism just means that males and females look different. Another interesting thought is that it could have been used as a hump to store fat, kind of like how some lizards store fat in their tails. If Concavenator used this, then it could have survived a lot longer without having to eat. This actually makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Spinosaurus' sail was much larger, so paired with its odd anatomy, a hump that size would have just weighed it down. But with Concavenator, its spines were a fraction of the size, meaning that a hump wouldn't have disabled it very much at all. Not to mention that its environment most likely had various dry and arid seasons that a hump would have definitely come in handy for. The first fossil was discovered in 2003 by Francisco Ortega, along with other paleontologists at the UNED University in Spain. However, the assembly and analysis of the fossil took seven years, meaning it wasn't until 2010 when it was actually named. After researching and studying the fossil for so long, scientists noticed something strange. Several bumps on the animal's arms that oddly looked like insertions for large feathers on bird wings. Now, since even the largest feathers really wouldn't have helped them in flight, the most likely conclusion is that the knobs were used for quills that the dinosaur would have used for display. Of course, the idea that knobs were used for anything is still up for debate since there's still the chance they were just caused from muscular scarring. Concavenir is more specifically found in the Las Hoyas formation, which is well known for its very well preserved dinosaur and bird fossils. It's thought to have once been an inland environment with an abundance of lakes. Several different fossils have been found here, including amphibians, small mammals, crocodiles, and of course dinosaurs. The dinosaurs that have been found here aren't very large though, since most of them are small pterosaurs or medium-sized ornithomimids. One of the ones at Las Hoyas formation is Pelicanomimus, which has a record-breaking amount of teeth. Another dinosaur that's thought to have lived with Concavenator is Mantellosaurus, which was an Inguantonian dinosaur. Given that no other animal in the formation was large enough to hunt them, Concavenator would have been the apex part of the region, most likely preying on both Pelicanomimus and Mantellosaurus. Now, Concavenator hasn't been featured in as much media as other dinosaurs, but it's gotten a bit more popularity due to its appearance as a statue in Lockwood's mansion in Jurassic World 2. It's also featured in Jurassic World the game and as a mod through Nexus in Jurassic World Evolution. Alrighty, that wraps it up for this month or month's prehistoric annual of the month slash months. That's weird. Anyways, thank you for watching. As always, um, if you want to suggest your own animal, make sure that you stay on the lookout for community posts on YouTube. And if you want to, you can check out my Instagram where there'll be stories on there that you can uh, respond to. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just rambling on. All right, I should probably go now. I should probably head out. Are, are, are you gone yet? You can go, I'm, I'm just sitting here. Is that right? No, no. Oh. Well. <laughs>